But okay, okay, let me ask final questions and final questions. This has been an amazing podcast, actually. Yeah, I think this is the final questions. Um, I always ask the same kind of end of questions, um, because I think it's important just to leave people on a, um, a note, even though we talk about different ideas about what I think is important. So I've asked you this question before, but I want to ask you now, and I will also, I'll also ask you again. Having discussed what we've discussed today about writing, about thinking, what would you think? What do you think the meaning of life is for you? For in terms of what you see it as today, who you are today, what's my personal meaning? your personal so meaning what of life. Kind of what guess you? What is your personal reason for being, and for your personal meaning of life? You can take a second to think about it, but yeah, just go on that. I don't know, man. I just. I just want to make things not necessarily writing or creating worlds i do love doing that's what gets me up in the morning i'm excited to make these characters and make them do stuff and experience adventures and things that i would never get to experience myself because we're bound by the laws of physics Mm -hmm. (laughs) physics is a bitch Mm -hmm. but even just working with my hands like if you like you can see it right now like not the people in the podcast but like you're like literally looking at my creative process it's just like a fucking mess of crap i just like making things with my hands like if it was like working on costumes cosplays making random things with resin painting even just doodling it's just it's all about creation it's all about trying to get what's inside of my head out onto paper because universes that you create can be infinite they have infinite possibility infinite potential infinite stories and i think it would be a really it's a shame that people don't really value that as much as they should. I like that. Gary? Um, it's funny, I was having a similar conversation earlier with the person I paid money to. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm kind of like a dog chasing cars. Like, I wouldn't actually know what to do with it if I caught one. Um, Expand on that analogy. What is the, dog, what is the car? But for me, it's like, I guess, my dream, dreams, right? Like, you know, I've never actually really conceived of my life beyond getting where I want to be. I've always had that goal, and it's been so far away from me for my whole life that, like, I've never really stopped to think what I would do when it actually happens. Mm -hmm. Um, To the point where, like, even just the getting there part of things, like the present here and now... Mm -hmm has largely fallen by the wayside for pretty much my entire life. Like, I've never actually stopped. You know, everyone's like, oh yeah, stop and smell the roses. Bro, I don't know what that shit smells like. I'll know what it smells like whenever the fuck I get there, but I don't even know if I'm going to like how it smells. Um, How are you going to change that for you, where you actually do stop and smell the roses? I'm still figuring that one out. Like, I don't know. I've always been a very future-focused person uh, to the point where, like, the future actually completely eclipses the present. Mm -hmm. It used to be the past and the past used to justify why I was so fixated on the future. And yeah, it's just this because we're all weirdly like I worry that if I don't keep looking, if I don't keep going on the journey, like, you know, if you don't have the end goal in mind, what are you what are you working for? Why are you even here? Like, you know, that sets up its own rabbit hole of fucking shite. But, like, for me, yeah, I I don't know, you know. I don't give myself the luxury of stopping to question it. I just move. I try to. Um, You know, the only time that I'm not trying to reach the goal is because I'm running out of fucking money. Mm. And I need to continue to work. Mm. Uh, That's the only reason I go to work. You know, I don't care about my jobs. I've never cared about my jobs. Um, I probably will continue not to care about my jobs until I get to where I want to be. And maybe I won't even care about that. But the one thing that I have found that gives my life any semblance of true meaning is making shit. Um, you know, in whatever form that is right now, it's writing books. But like, fuck knows what I'll do after I'm done with that. I don't know. I'm almost afraid to think about it. Um... I think it's such an interesting thing you say that because even what you both said about creating I completely agree and about what happens when you reach the goal 
I've been thinking a lot about this. I recently made a video um, when I turned 25. I made a video about like turning 25 and I asked myself these introspective questions. One of the things I realized in that video watching back was that I'm in this path, I'm in this stage of my life where I've almost kind of allowed myself to be the sacrificial lamb to my dreams. So say like I'm the person who has to go through the shitty parts and the parts of like self-actualization, the pain, the, re the kind of rebirths. And I'm not allowed to complain about that because when I get to the goal, it'll be all be worth it. But it's also like, I'm working for these things. I'm sacrificing these days, sacrificing relationships sometimes. But when I get there, when I look back and be proud of all of that, or like just look back with like regret. And I'm not even allowed to ask myself that question because it's like, no, fuck that. That kind of fucks up the way you're going to act now. Don't think about that. Put that to the wayside. And that process... It depends on if you, like, if the ends justify the means for you. I think I think it does, but I don't think that's the best way for my life to think, you know? I think right now it does justify the means, but when I'm like 30, but I still back, blah, 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 back and say that, I guess that question doesn't matter. I'm still going to do what I'm going to do. Yeah. But I is a point of like, I'm contemplating the price that I'm paying for the things that I think everyone else desires, basically. If we all desire fame. We all desire success. We all desire these things imposed on us by society from when we were kids, but also we've kind of grown into that and we think, actually, I do want some of that. But when I get there, like you said, like, will I look back and be like, well, this is what, like, actually, these are the moments where I actually enjoy. These are the things that I actually should have sat down and smoked the roses. And so I'm trying to balance that aspect of my life, but... Well, yeah, but that's your rock to roll up the hill. Like, Absolutely. you can't think about how you're going to feel at the top of the hill until you actually get there. Yeah, yeah. You just have to fucking hope it's worth it. As long as you have another goal, like, as long as you always have a goal, I think you'll be fine. Yeah. It's like did my undergrad great i was like what's next did my master's now i'm about to do my phd and i'm gonna be like what's next become professor write book and when i'm done with charmer the instant like literally i gave myself maybe like six months of a break after i wrote like my whole fucking manuscript mm -hmm. and i started working on phantasma and before that i was working on keep the faith and before that i was working on alpha test and i just keep working on different universes because that's the point that's the end goal i'm never gonna stop writing like I don't plan on retiring even when I'm 80 unless I have carpal tunnel I will use text to speech I love the fact that we said that because I'm going to play this back to us one day when we're like mature and like have a little bit of space from life because right now we're way too close to what we want from life to actually look look at it no, with like I fresh eyes fact, I will always be because like I do it as a hobby and then I made decided to make it my livelihood yeah yeah I think it's interesting I think yeah just to close out the podcast because I know we've been going right for an hour and a half and we could keep going but I think I said it before and I'll say it again I'm really interested to see all of our progressions I'm really interested to see um, where we end up I think you're right I do need the balance of people who will tell me shut the fuck up keep going <laughs> like yeah there's no point worrying about like where you're going until you get there those are the most important things you want to find out if it's worth it get there and then look at the mountain and see because a lot of people try to tell me relax you know break work life balance nah bro I want to work I just want to keep working you know, there's no aspect of like rest for me, and I struggle with rest because what is rest? So if you're like, I should be working. I should be working. And I rest when I'm dead. Yeah, sleep when you're dead. Sleep when you're dead. Sleep is the cousin of death. Yeah, right. I don't sleep for sleep is the cousin of death.